I don't feel good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Phil. I'm not feeling my best today. I've got a sinus infection. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a cocktail. Right. First, take the butt of a lime and cut it off. The butt of the lime is also known as the nipple. Next, cut off the other one. Take a piece of mint and stab it. Okay, put it in your glass. Next, measure out one dose of NyQuil. It's Kroger, it's Kroger brand at nighttime, but it says compare to NyQuil. I also want to point out this is somewhat topical since a picture of NyQuil chicken has been trending around the internet. So here's a picture of it. Uh, one dose is 30 milliliters. So go ahead and pour that over your lime. Next, add some soda. All right, cheers to my health. It actually tastes way better than regular night Oh, powders. gross. That's disgusting. It really is better than like the cough syrup on its own. I'm not trolling. Tonight, I'm going to teach you how to make a Vietnamese rice noodle salad. This is somewhat similar to the restaurant dish called Bun Thit. I don't know if that's how you say that because I don't speak Vietnamese. So you start with rice noodles. I'm using Bon Pho. Bon Pho. Three elephants. You can get these at your local Asian store. And the, the size is S. S is just means it's thin. So we got some boiling water here. And we'll just place our noodles in there. You can also like boil the water and then like pour it over the noodles and just let it sit. The back of the pack says, put it into boiling water. Uh, I'm gonna find some tongs. Bye, I love you. Bye, love you. I think the fans love Courtney too. Okay, well that's cooking away. We can start on our vegetables. I got some scallions here. Cam got me some nice knives for our wedding. So although Cam is sometimes full of shit, he is also full of love in his heart. So we will thinly chop these. This knife's nice and new, so it does this pretty well. Uh, I've got two peppers. Actually, I, I probably should get a giant bowl going. These are jalapenos. Oh, don't mind me, just let me, uh, you know what, this probably make uh, the viewers at home really uncomfortable. They're like, oh, don't get so close to the bill, you might get sick. So we chop them in half. You can use a little knife if you're worried about being more precise. I suggest leaving the sid the sids, the sids and the seeds in the pepper because we're not bitches. Um, NyQuil affects me in a way that is like, I don't think it's normal. Like, NyQuil f***s me up, like, really a lot. So much so that... My friends have coined the term NyQuil Phil. Alright, let's look at our noodles. You gotta make sure they're fully cooked. And this is not like the mom logic, this is just this is just good logic. Alright, I would be putting these in a bucket, but I don't have a bucket big enough to hold this meal. So we we'll have to use a bowl instead. So you only want to peel some cucumbers? Rain and Kayla are gonna duke it out, or cuke it out, for the cucumber peeling race. Who will win? I don't know. Com skin completely removed. Okay. On your mark. Ready. Good set. Yeah. Go. Ooh, like you need it. No, don't want to. I think she wants to win. The noodles are done. It's been a time. We pour them into our bouillon strainer. It's convenient. And we are gonna rinse the heck out of them with cold water. This is a cold noodle salad, so we need to remove the heat. And you can do that with cold water. Also, it's fun to jiggle things around in this thing. Look at that. I'm cooking. This is how you cook. Well, you gotta dig down there for the hot noodles. Hot noodles at the bottom. Ow! <laughs> 
I am in pain. So one thing you can do is like grab a handful of noodles, run it out of the cold water till it's cold, and throw it in your bowl. And repeat until you got your noodles in the bowl. These are julienne carrots. You'll save so much time by just buying them rather than cutting them. Here, I'll let me breathe on the camera so you can inhale my disease. So, a fine amount of what you need. Next, we'll use these cucumbers as an ingredient in the dish. Uh, I'm gonna chop it in half. You can either julienne or slice these. Slicing is much easier, but julienning kind of maintains the shape that you had going, so maybe we'll do that. That's gonna be a pretty shitty julienne. The alternate name for the show is pretty shitty cooking, too. So. And you see I'm still leaving the seeds in? It's because I don't care. I also have no room on this cutting board. I don't know why I'm using a small one. Oh! Not used to using short bags. You have to like actually use <laughs> appropriate technique. I put all the cucumbers in there. Good job. I could have done it better. This is, I, we grew this mid, me and, me and Courtney, mainly Courtney. And this we will chop up. If you want, you can roll them up. And the mint goes. Don't use too much or it'll be completely overpowering. Next up is cilantro. I use quite a bit of this. You can also add like Thai basil if you want. I couldn't find any. Yeah, we'll give it our typical rough chop. Uh, not too rough. Shit always sticks everywhere. What a pain. Okay. What are those? It's a line. Is that a serious question? <laughs> what are those? What? <laughs> Phil's never been on the internet. Was it you like referencing the meme from yesteryear? Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's juice our limes. We got two limes here. One lime, two lime. These, this citrus squeezer is not very effective. You're talking about your hands? <laughs> That's pretty savage. I got no response. Oh man. Okay, we got some lime juice. And we're gonna add some sugar. Brown sugar would be preferable, but I can't seem to find it, so I'm just gonna use white sugar. Pretty crazy. This is kind of like a tablespoon. I don't really understand that <laughs> measurement. I'm gonna add uh, a little bit of chili garlic sauce, whatever this is. So about a tablespoon of that. And then quite a bit of fish sauce. It's gonna get stinky in here. Probably just use the rest of the bottle. I would just take the cap off, but uh, I don't think it comes off. Nor does it pour. I could've done it better. No, I couldn't have. Phil's the master. <laughs> I could've done that better. Okay, that was like fine amount, I would say. Or at least it seems like one. <laughs> So mix your sauce together. You can also add garlic if you want. I added chili garlic paste, so it's probably not necessary. We'll just let that sit first for a little bit. And all that's left to do is cook the shrimp. So I I, uh, well, I worked ahead today. I peeled the shrimp. So we'll drain them. You see, I still managed to sneak a bucket into this recipe. Pretty proud of that. I got a couple of kinds in here. They're all wild caught shrimp. Some of them are cut for grilling. That's kind of just whatever I had in my freezer. Um, ideally, we would pat them dry and then toss in oil. So some of the excess moisture out of there. And then I'm gonna toss them in peanut oil, it's like this. And then I'm gonna oil the griddle as well. This is the grill pan we used Patreon money to get. Uh, medium high, so these on the grill. There should be lots of splattering because it's wet, so you might get dirty. But oh well. They should cook quickly because they're shrimp. Maybe like a pound and a half. You can salt them if you want. No need for pepper though. What are those? <laughs> They're bean sprouts. We'll use them as a topping. We don't want to put them in the salad because they'll uh, go bad before the rest of the other things in the salad. It's good to have them on deck though. You can also put in some peanuts. You might put more than I did, but that's how many peanuts I had. So I'm just gonna keep cooking these until they're done. Usually shrimp turns pink when they're done, but these are already pink, so for the world may never know. <laughs> The shrimps are done. You can tell by the white meat and the cooked-like appearance. Oh, you yeah, know, five minutes or so. That's how long I cooked them. If you wanted or were worried about temperature, you could cool these down or just throw them, such as I'm doing now. Phil, are you worried about temperature? No. All right. All right, let's add our sauce. Pour it over the things. Now we gotta mix it. Mix it all up. This will be a little bit difficult because it's such a large amount. But you wanna make sure you toss and coat the noodles in the sauce. And that means you might have to dig down to the bottom multiple times. 
cop away from the food. Another option is to put a lid on this and just like shake it like you would a baby. You have the option, I'm just saying. <laughs> shake that baby right. The coolness of the noodles is unaffected by the hot of the shrimp. So that's good. This seems pretty decent to me. I think we should try it out. So we got some noodles. Another thing you could put in this is cabbage. I didn't do that though. I forgot about cabbage. I forgot to put bean sprouts on it, so just... Put a little on top. A little. <laughs> okay, I overloaded the bowl. I'll just try noodles first. They're good. Nice and tasty. Sounds good. That is good too. That's how you make it. It's a Vietnamese noodle salad. It's really not like bun thin at all. So, sorry I said that. And I'm gonna go to bed. Good night.